Hey guys, welcome to The Ticker, where we bring you your daily dose of what's happening now. I am, of course, Chase Thompson. This is... And I'm not Corey Corey, not, but I am Billy Neal. Not Corey Corey. Uh, she has been, uh, you know, she, is, she has things going on. That she, yeah, she couldn't be here with us today. But no, what I really wanted to do today, guys, we are on location, obviously not in the studio, or I'm just doing really great green screen work. Um, this is Billy Neal. He is going to be my uh, accountability coach uh, for the new year. Um, it is something that I've not really ever um, delved into before as far as business goes. Obviously, you know, you have different people that you maybe sometimes answer to or something like that. Um, but specifically, um, I've highlighted specific parts of, of my business this year that I want to help grow and help, you know, uh, cultivate. Uh, he has been there before. He has done this before. And so he's the guy I'm leaning on for that. So I want to talk a little about the importance of that uh, today. And then, of course, um, you know, give him an opportunity to talk about what it did for him and his real estate business uh, uh, in finding someone as well. So Absolutely. Well, the first step is actually writing your goals down. Um, I mean, that, that is huge and it's key to, to any successful business, uh, whether you're in real estate or any other industry. If you write your goals down, it gives you an opportunity to go back and kind of take a look and see, you know, where you're at throughout the year. Uh, so goal writing number one is mm -hmm. definitely number one on the list. Um, Which number, he's made me do, so yes. we're good. We're still good. <laughs> no, no, number two is, is having somebody uh, like me to work with you when it comes to accountability. Um, if you know that you have an accountability coach, uh, it's real hard to show up that week and to have to live up to the fact that you didn't yeah. you didn't do anything. Uh, nothing changed from what you were doing last year, which is why you're going to wind up staying in the same place. So the idea is not just to write the goals, but to have somebody hold you accountable. Um, I mean, you can find an accountability coach uh, online. Uh, you can pay for it because, by the way, when you do pay for it, as you know, um, it, you know, to, to pay for something that you don't utilize. It hurts, is, <laughs> you know, cashing that check and then saying, oh, I didn't do anything. Like, it's I didn't do it. And I'm yeah, like, right. well, yeah. the, the check still cashed, and uh, that was nice for me, I guess. Uh, but the bottom line is find somebody that's going to hold you accountable. Whether it's somebody in your office, uh, your spouse, your brother, you know, somebody, you know, somebody that cares about you and that you care about um, that, you know, it, it would bother them. Um, those are the two and, main keys. And so you were a real estate agent for a long time. Mm -hmm. What? You know, did did you start out with one? I mean, when when did you actually implement one, and then what happened to your business when it happened? Uh, I did not start out with a, okay. <laughs> a coach or a mentor. Um, I kind of just started off blind, just thought that it would be easy to show some right. houses and sell some houses. Because uh, that's need, all realtors do, um, right? Yeah, of course. Yes, so yeah, yes. that's all you had to. Yeah. Um, my last year in real estate, I I sold more in in the first month of the year than I did for the entire two years of my first when I first got licensed. So that's what accountability coach can do. Uh, when I found it, it was kind of finding my big why uh, along with my goals and setting a lot of the standards for my personal life and my personal goals as mm -hmm. well, uh, which needs to get in, you know, to coincide sure, sure. with business goals. Um, you don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much work. You want to be able to kind of get in there and, and realize that, you know, it, you, you work to live, you don't live to work. Right. Um, you know, so you got to make sure that you're balancing that stuff out. Um, but uh, really, when it comes into getting that, getting that coach and having that coach with the goals, is making sure that you're not over, uh, making them too big. Right. And never make your goal a checklist, like a to-do list. Um, you know, be tangible. Make it, uh, make it numbers. Make it something that you can, you can actually look back on and see where your business is coming from, um, who it came from, right. where it came from. Is my marketing working? Are my websites working? It what makes what it, is it that makes to my convert, business tick? Figure out where the conversion might be Correct. happening better and things like that. Sure, and, sure. And make sure that you're meeting with your accountability coach weekly as well. Uh, I think weekly is huge. Now, what's your take on FaceTime? I mean, I, I, I view that as, as a really huge benefit to what I'm trying to do here as opposed to teleconferencing or something like that. What is your take on that? Just um, briefly. I, mean, I, think, I think FaceTime is huge. Uh, and you may not be able to do FaceTime every week. Right. But if you can fit it in at least once a month, uh, that accountability of sitting in front of somebody is way huger than than it is when you're right. on the telephone or in a webinar. Sweating it out like in front of the person. Yeah. Bit cool. Yeah, walking in with nothing in your hand could be a little difficult. Like, mm, here I am. So I don't know how many of you guys are, have decided to go that route if you haven't done it in the future or if you're right. changing coaches or anything like that in the new year. But we would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Uh, successes with coaches, failures, um, things that you've learned over the you know your, 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 your career, different things like that. Uh, we'd love to hear from you anyway. Thank you so much. We'll be back tomorrow. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Billy. Take care. You're welcome. Silence on the set. What's up, world? Really? Oh. You just slate? Did you just slate? I did. You did. I did. You're lame. Come on. All right, here we go. Right on. All right, here we go.
Oh, how's the intro go? 